Hello. A few months ago, I turned myself into a beautiful, sensational woman named Benita to catfish old men on the internet. But you know what got old? Not this video format, baby. Benita did. She's now an old lady. She's ready to find love. And $100,000 from a sugar daddy. We are gonna use a website called Millionaire Match and see if we can scam some sugar daddies, baby. Let's take some pictures that an old lady would have on her dating profile. I think this has lice in it. What is one place that white moms love? The beach. I thought it'd be fun to take some, some pictures. Appreciating the slow life. Um, let's turn into Benito. Give it. Should I push his ass? Um, holy shit, we're high up. Uh, okay, we're gonna take some selfies now. Okay, wait, maybe this will be good. Uh, the footing is a little dangerous, but... <laughs> I kind of hurt a little bit. Excuse me. Yeah. Is this like a good picture for like a dating profile? It's a little blurry. A little blurry. So next I rented a farm on Airbnb and it came with this goat that just, just wanted to die. in the corner um okay this is not this is not benita the, this is not working for benita so we need a transformation that's my that's my son H henrita he hasn't paid rent in four years i feel like this gives like elderly old lady and it just came with the airbnb so all right finishing touch yeah imagine the airbnb oh it's just me breaking into the go coop looking like this <laughs> No so he's gonna feed some cranberries to him, uh, and then I'm gonna jump in the ring. Hey, little chickens. Cam, 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 feed him, feed him fucking cranberries. Anyways, I wanted to show that Benita is a party animal, so. Hey! Benita likes to get a little wild, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna buy some hard liquor. Hey. <laughs> Oh, don't do it. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, he was looking at my ID. A little bit too long. But I got it, baby! <laughs> These pictures are not pulling any millionaire sugar daddies. <laughs> Typically, we do this once. And we're gonna take this a step further. I look like every day I wake up and eat three f***ing Duracell batteries. Next we got a classic beach picture. Alright bro, 14 bones in my body. Benita's feeling the ocean breeze. On her- on her denture. <laughs> oh! That- That's the wrong one! Why do I look like Hagrid from Harry Potter? And finally... Ow! Okay! It is time to go back on Millionaire Match. My favorite thing is how you have to say you're a successful single making over 300k a year. And then it says no sugar daddies or babies. Math ain't math! I am a woman! 56. Annual income. <laughs> 1 million of 5 million. Username, Bonita Sofrida. Headline. Come take a sip of a Bonita Margarita! Immediately we're signing up for the $70 a month premium account. Let's see what we got. Since when you have to verify? 
I have no clue if this is gonna work. If this works, I will be genuinely blown away. God, I have not asked for much, but please, please let them think I'm a 56 year old woman. Like God only knows how long I have until they delete my account. We're liking everyone. I don't give a f uh, This man looks like they played the f***ing Super Bowl with his head. About my match. Ambitious family oriented Christian princess. This man is kinky chef. Looking for my true queen. Where are you? The queen is dead. She died. I have a sense of humor and ate me. Not a deal breaker, but don't force me to stop eating meat. Did this man, like, marry the vegan teacher or something? This seems very specific. Here we are, Raymond. He has cows, apparently, so he kind of looks like the Pringles man. But, um, I'm gonna spend an hour just liking everyone and then go to bed and see, see what matches we have. It's been 24 hours, and I'm still in my room. Messaging 70 year old men. In the past 24 hours, I've had the most psychotic conversations of my entire life, and I'd like to share them with you. Let's begin. I matched with someone named Mr. Tropical. His profile picture is him in front of Trump's border wall. So let that set the scene. Um, I said, how much biting is okay with you? To which he replied, preferably none. Then I said, you are weak. You are a damn coward. You will die having not one person remember you. Then he didn't reply for a little bit, so I sent him a picture of Milky Cat 63. And I, and I said, Milky Cat 63. And then, and then Mr. Tropical said, breasts. So Next I was talking to this dude named A Confident Man. This is his profile picture. It's him photoshopped onto the side of a building with a crowd. He messaged me first and said, My dear, you are frightening. But I like that. Yes, I do. And then I flirted back by saying, There's 14 assassins surrounding the perimeter of your house. Ready to detonate the car bomb outside of your house. <laughs> to which he replied, Car bomb. No, I just looked. There's just Susan's Camry. This is not funny. <laughs> And then I said, um, <laughs> Next we got this man, Dono. Ah! Um, he messaged me saying, Darling, have you ever been on a private island? To which I replied, Yes, it looked like this. <laughs> <laughs> then I was talking to Matt and Love. He DM'd me first and said, When may we connect physically and sexually? To which I replied, When you get vaccinated for rabies! <laughs> so Drools on your pee pee. Mr. Early Bird said, Let's skip the small talk. When can I tie you up immediately? I replied saying, Excuse me? This is extremely triggering. I was a hostage for 20 years, held captive by this man. <laughs> but that Early Bird replied saying, Liberal Snowflake. <sighs> Alright, next up I was hit, really hitting it off with Lukey1488. He got a little confederate flag in his profile picture. Always a, a fun little sticker to add. Anyways, Walmart Andrew Tate said, Do you like candle play? Slash, would you allow me to drip a Yankle can- A- <laughs> A Yankee candle all over your body. I replied by saying, I would enjoy playing with your lifeless body and all the little bits I'm gonna chop it up into. But Loki was unfazed and said, Booty, let me see sexy body. Ba body. You, you can threaten these motherfuckers with gruesome murder and they will be unfazed. So I sent him a picture of a gorilla scratching its ass and, and, and left it at that. Next I was talking to this guy named Mike Gerg. My cook. I, I don't know why it says it. I said, I seized all of your financial assets. Your bank account has been frozen. But need a virus.exe to activate. To which he said, Hi, who are you? I will be sending this to book the police. This is unacceptable. Police suck these nuts, ho. <laughs> um, anyways, Pringles guy looked rich. So I said, send me money right now. No balls. And then send my PayPal address. And, um, and you really can't make this shit up, but I got a thousand dollars! 
Like what? Please comment a charity for me to send this to because I feel an incredible amount of weirdness. Now, finally, this one just made me feel insane. This is, this guy's about me said, I love DJ Khaled. You know, when I think of DJ Khaled's demographic, I don't think of this man, but I said, OMG, you're a DJ Khaled fan too? He said, yes, I'm a big fan. All I do is win, LOL. Then I hit him with a, a DJ Khaled fun fact saying, did you know that DJ Khaled's stage name used to be Arab Attack until 9-11? To which he replied, DJ Khaled. And I, f it. Then I just said, wait, DJ Khaled hiding in your closet with a microphone made out of the skin of your firstborn child be like, we the best music! And I'm um, completely unfazed by that. He said, LOL, sweetie. I like your humor. I'm seeing him in concert in Miami. Would you like to join me? And mamas, I ain't got else to do this week, so. This was a really perplexing environment to me. I think all clubs should be drone striked by the US government because why do they get employees to carry bottles to rich customers that are paying upwards and around of $3,000 and up to even $30,000 for literal expired grape juice? Anyways, after I paid $150 to get in, the guy literally messages me to cancel for no reason. And then at that point, it was literally 3 a.m. and DJ Khaled still hadn't performed. <laughs> One, two, three. I left and watched the videos at home when he eventually performed at 5 a.m. So, f*** you, DJ Khaled, and I'll see y'all later. Love you. Bye.